Uh, FoxCon was <coughs> basically an event that uh, Rick Fox and the rest of the um, of our management decided that they would fly out all the Echo Fox players, no matter where they were, bring them all together, um, and then just kind of host everyone for, for a weekend. So everyone got to meet each other, all the different games were bonding together. Um, so how many players so was I think we're around 50, 60 people. I mean, it's part of a lot of things, but basically, like, if you're part of Echo Fox, we're, like, all in it together, you know? They're, they're, I don't think there's a lot of teams um, throughout all the different games that really, like, interact and spend a lot of time together. Um, we kind of want to change that in Echo Fox, but, like, well, we all, like, one, like, group, one family, right? Mm -hmm. um, doesn't really matter where, what game we come from. So it was to meet everyone, to bond with each other, and do some fun things. Like, we went to uh, Six Flags, Magic Mountain, with, with everyone. It's like a lot of fun. Yep, the first time. Uh, at first, I was kind of scared of roller coasters because I've never tried anything. Um, yeah. That was crazy. But I don't know, I kind of love it now. Yeah, I think the main part is just I'm willing to take a risk and dying because if I don't deal enough damage, then there's no way we're going to win the game. And that's pretty much just what I'm doing. Like, um, There's sometimes where I will end up dying for it, there's sometimes where it will end up being good. Um, so I think. It's like, I don't know, it's neither good or bad. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily the best way to play. It's just something that needs to be done sometimes. Um, I mean, you'll definitely notice if he's in the same room as you. Um, I think he's just, I don't know, he's very passionate about uh, League. Obviously, it's mostly League of Legends we talk about when he's around because you want to know so many things. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, he's, th that's pretty much how I would describe him, yeah. You know when he's in the room? <laughs> yeah. What's your professional opinion on his Anemia play, though? I think his CSing needs a little work, but we all started somewhere, right? Um, so I'm proud of how, how well he's doing. I mean, kind of a while into the season, there was one point where it's like, okay, now it's pretty much, like, it's really, really hard to make playoffs and on the other hand it's also really hard to get into relegation so it's kind of like okay kind of like just in the middle of nowhere um, it's not so much that we changed mindset or something it's just where we ended up being because i think our start was fine just like actually just like the rest of the uh, the splits we uh, probably the team that have the easiest schedule in the start and the hardest schedule in the end. So the starts are always pretty easy for us. Like we end up getting some wins and then like we just start ending up losing some more and some more and some more and there's no real improvement anywhere. Well, personally, I kind of just want to win and I don't really give a crap about too much other things. Like probably go back for a week um, to my family and friends back in Denmark and then I'll just go back I try probably stream a lot that's what I've been doing every single off season for a couple of years now um, that's pretty much it try to improve for more league interviews and analysis subscribe to our channel you can also find stats discussions and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com